On today's episode of... I'm trying to talk. Damn it. Trust. On today's episode of Doing Stuff with a Mad Snapper, we're going to try to pour some concrete. Yeah, let's mess that up real good. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Now we just needed to warm up about 10 degrees more. Good morning, YouTube. All right, let's see. We're doing some concrete work today, as you've seen in my little Snapchat clip of the Mad Snapper being squishy face. I am the king of time lapse because I don't like to talk, but we're going to talk today. It is just now 42 degrees, I think, so I can do some concrete. Um, concrete says at least 40 degrees we have a two foot by 40 inch by eight inch slab to do for this old ass four post car lift i know four inches would be fine but i'm gonna have some heavy trucks on it and we're testing out the brand new yard max four cubic feet uh i wanted four instead of the normal 1.6 because who wants to do one bag at a time? I want to do at least two. Although, although, using my Google Math, yep. So using my Google Math, four cubic feet equals about 29 gallons. It's about 150 pounds per cubic foot of uh, dried concrete. So I've got 60 pound bags, which is 0.45, let's just say half, half cubic feet. 80 pound bags are 0.6, but I've got 60. So it should take me eight bags to fill in this, what looks like a little hole, but I don't know. Um, I've got 4,000 PSI concrete, quick crete over here. And it claims it's going to take roughly, it wants you to start out with four pints of water. So about a half gallon to one gallon to do the total thing. Say clearly 3.3 liters per 60 is going to be the maximum uh start out with four so i don't know i've never used one of these things i'm thinking um two bags at a time maybe we'll see i got me some tools uh, i don't have any real concrete tools but i've got the uh two by four down here down there down there right here to do the little because I've watched some people do some slabs I want the slurry stuff that's going to come out of that to be the consistency of a thick potato soup or a really meaty spaghetti sauce yeah not a wonton soup or a regular soup more like chicken and dumplings <laughs> oh and my nose is running so Bear with me on the sniffles because it was like 30 degrees this morning when I started this. Yeah, so the capacity on this four cubic foot says I can do eight bags at one time, but I am not putting that kind of weight in this little janky machine. And this is actually my very first time plugging it in. So let's see if this 100 foot long extension cord will actually work. I don't like that noise. But huh, I don't know. So it's got multiple positions, obviously. And this is the recommended concrete position. That's the mortar position. That's the, whatever. That's the dump. I forgot to get a whir barrel, so I'm trying to place this right over the hole. And I didn't stake it down in the ground. Can you see that? Can you see that? I'm supposed to stake it down in the ground. I don't know. Me being the way I always am, I tend to overthink things. So I am going to 
squirt the inside of this down a little bit so it doesn't dust on me too much. And I don't know. I'm not even going to try to use the bucket right now. I'm going to see what happens. First, let's turn this bastard off. Now that I know it works. I probably should get this a little bit closer before I go. Sniffles, before I go making a big dust cloud with no mask and stuff on. Oh yeah, look at you, you're gonna fight me because I got my little camera. Sacrificial shovel. Big dump truck making noise. All right, moisture. Might make the brush lines later. That is heavy. Got to be a better way to do that. back up. I don't like it. Too much dust. I'm going to go inside and get a knife. Yep. Go get a knife. I'll be right back. I got my knife. Let's bring you a little closer. Did I hit record? I don't know. Yep, sure did, 44 seconds in. Yeah, I'm gonna start out with two bags. Just because. I know that should take roughly a gallon to start with. back over here give her a little tilt action actually Yeah, so there's no way to measure the water out of the hose. Coming down. So, we just take our time. Machine's doing the job. Yeah, I can see the bottom is uh, still very dusty. You see the light spots? 
So I'm gonna treat it like a dough mixer. Just give it time. Yep, starting to see some bigger clumps form. I don't remember. The one thing I did was um, two or three bags maybe inside and I did it in a big ass pail with shovels and it sucked. I don't remember. It was two years ago. It was a slab for my um, or go, it went on to the edge of a slab for my air compressor. I forgot about that. And then I did one pole but I don't mind getting it too wet because I can always um, add another bag. There we go. I'm starting to see the orange on the bottom of the mixer now. That's much more better. Can you see in there? Can you see in there? I want to get this fur first uh, load dump that way I can time lapse the rest but so far the yard max is doing its job I don't know if it's supposed to be that noisy there's no lubrication between the gears which I might Add a little bit of grease. We'll see. As soon as I stop seeing dry dust on the bottom, like right there in the middle, I will um, pour this first bit so it can mix with all the rocks. That's actually probably just a little hair on the um, too much side. But I don't mind it being a little bit more on the soupier than I want for the first pour. That way it can mix in with all those uh, rocks and shit. y'all what do you think let's turn it off real quick how's that looking y'all think that's okay Should have wore something else. It's my favorite Daytona hoodie. Should have probably put some more water in the bottom, but let's let it mix some more. Professionals out there are probably screaming right now. Going, no, you idiot. See that dryness? That's what I want to avoid. So, getting a little bit more hands on until I get some more experience. Because literally, the only experience I've got in a mixer is going to be making pizza dough. <laughs> Let's 
give her a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's mixing up now. Probably could use a little bit more water too. see some dry stuff coming off. That means it's mixing. There we go, I like that. See how we can see the edge of the uh, the bottom now, where we couldn't earlier? That's all it was, I just didn't have enough water. Now I know. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Imagine how much time that would have taken to uh, do that mix by hand. Just no. No way. What you think? Let's pour it. Let's bring you up. Angle you down, turn it off, and see what happens. The off button's really nice. All right, let's go up. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. I could not imagine doing, what did I say, eight bags? This is only two. Did I say eight? Yeah, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna line up. Get you line up now. Can you still see? Oh, you didn't line up. That's all right, I got a shovel says you're gonna line up. Get in there. Still, my nose is still running like crazy. Question, are you supposed to have it on Why you unload? I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. But everybody was busy, and I've been waiting on friends to help for months. Tell me what you think. Can you see it? Can you see it? Looks a little on the dry side, so we'll wash it down. We'll wash that down, but now I'm gonna time lapse you. Here we go.
So I thought it'd be a good idea to turn the mic back on during a train. That way, later when I watch this video, I can see uh, how well these mic. See how well these mics work during train noises. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, time lapse. Uh, we did two more bags. I got impatient and I mixed what was on the bottom as well, like I did last time. And then I took the shovel and aggregated, agitated, whatever the word is, to make sure all the edges were uh, good to go. No air pockets and stuff like that. So I think uh, two more bags gonna do it. Somehow I got my math off. But I'm going to do one bag, mix a little bit, and then do the other bag. So, <laughs> sniffles, trucks, trains, it's always horrible sounding when I do videos. We're going to put you on back on time lapse. Yep, but so far so good. Not too bad. I'm probably... uh. If I had to guess, 20 minutes, somebody's doing a burnout. Or it was bricks. One or the other. Um, I'm probably 20 minutes into the actual pour itself and mixing. I've got about an hour, maybe two hours worth of uh, digging and making the form. And then another 30 minutes trying to find enough rock and crap to put on the bottom. Anywho, I'm glad it's warmed up. It's now, uh, what, what is the temperature? 45 degrees. So it's 10 degrees warmer than it was when I first started, and it's great, comparatively speaking. All right. Put you back up here. Put you back over here. Tilt it down. Turn it off and go to time lapse. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, all the other good stuff in case I don't say it later please subscribe I do motorcycle automotive cooking barbecue tool reviews all the other good stuff also have another channel called Bay Street Motors where we do our sales for our hot rods and motorcycles it's basically my sales channel for inventory at the shop so subscribe to both that'd be awesome and if not no big deal I don't care I'm not monetizing anyway I just like to see comments and interact with everybody all right, have a good one. Back to time lapse. La 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 la, test test. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hope so. That's a lot of footage. I don't want to have to talk over. It's only like my third time using the mic. Anywho. As you saw on the time lapse, I disappeared for a second and had to go get some uh, 13 millimeters because I looked on the ground and there was a couple of washers. So I was like, oh, those are shiny. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. And then I noticed this was loose, but the bolt fell out of that one. There. Luckily, the weight was holding it in place. So I forgot to tighten up two nuts and bolts. It happens. No big deal. Let's add some water. Yeah, I think that's the key, is to put one bag in, let it mix, then put the other bag in, minute, let it mix quickly to keep me from having to scrape the bottom. Because everything looks like it's mixing well this time I mean it mixed well last time I just am probably just very impatient I'm gonna see if I can find some other videos of these things running to see if it's supposed to make that noise I do not know and add a little grease to it 
but the motor's strong. I'm happy with two bags at a time. I can probably do three. I'm definitely not going to do four. Even if they were 80 pound bags, I'd be okay doing two. And I think this last two should do everything I need. I got my level over there. So uh, when I built the form, I made sure everything was level anyway. So I know that's good. As long as I can get it to the top and brush it off, it'll be fine. I had a quote for, um, I want to say, three different quotes between $600 and $1,000 to do two of these footers because they wanted to truck it in. And I was like, yeah, thank you, but I'm cheap, so I'll buy my own mixer. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's not um, sticking. I don't have to agitate it by hand. I like that. That looks yummy. These, these uh, concrete mixes can take dye too if you wanted to dye it like a gray or a whitish or a dark or a brown or whatever. <laughs> I should have read the instructions more. How long am I supposed to mix it? I don't know. That looks good to me. Yeah. A couple of things I would have done, I will do different. I will use a sacrificial clothing next time as well as a uh, just a plain old mask a COVID mask to uh, keep the dust down and I think it does pour better with the mixer on so let's turn it back on we'll see let's turn you over here let's bring you over here yep that's good enough Doobie -doobie -doo. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Am I too far away? Who knows? It's not a machine's fault. That's me. Lack of experience. Yeah, that, that looks like about the consistency that come out of the concrete truck when I watch a friend get a slab board poured. one bag 
and we'll cut you back on because you've already seen me mix a few times. Here we go. Be right back. All right, GoPro's about to die. Uh, I forgot to charge it up before I started. Anyway, on that round, you saw me uh, mix it by hand a couple of times or knock off the dry parts. I made this one really dry compared to the other ones because I see the ground is kind of sloppy. So I want that to soak up some of the uh, excess moisture. So here we go. This may be enough, it may not. Agitate it so the drier stuff can mix with the wetter stuff. Give her a couple of little, little plops. Not on my shoulder. That'd probably do it. And I've got about a half a bag in there. What to do with it? That is going to be the question. I don't want to waste that three dollars. Yep, I think this will be perfect because everything is protruding slightly above the form. Okay. What to do with the rest? What to do with the rest? Let's get it really wet, put it in a bucket, and pour it somewhere. Oh, y'all saw that, right? <laughs> It'll be fine. That's good stuff. Could have done that if I planned it. All right, we'll let that sit for a second. <laughs> it's filling the big ass hole I just made. Dur -dur -dur. The, uh, I'm pretty particular about my tools. That's why I was go ahead and cleaning this off. But we have time, plenty of time. That was loud. Don't judge. I've never really done this by myself. It's not a uh, video on how to do concrete. It's a video on his yard max worth of shit. And I like, I like it. So far, so good. Other than the concrete dust everywhere. Aim me down. Five minutes, let's turn you off. And turn you right back on. So I load all my GoPro footage to my phone and use iPhone or iMovie or whatever that is to do my videos. Dude, I just had the two by four, where'd it go? Um, so I've, I found five minute clips at one time seems to be the best so y'all know I'm looking for this right anywho here we go 
Let's see how I can make this happen. I like it. A couple of air bubbles coming up. No big deal. This one little piece right here. Done. I'm hitting the form now just to agitate any air bubbles. I've done a little bit of epoxy work before, but never concrete. And I've done some body work. A little bit of Bondo and fiberglass. That's good enough. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna take all my concrete tools, put them over there, get them away from that so I can hose them down. And I think we're gonna call this a video. I'll let her dry for a couple of days and I'll put a little clip of that in there and see how it comes out. Anyway, purpose of the video, yard max, four cubic foot. Yeah, I like it. I'm not gonna try to max it out with all of the eight bags because no yay took uh seven bags not ten so i did some calculations wrong a little bit somehow some way machine still looks brand new took about i don't know two hours maybe because i only did two bags at a time even though it says i can do eight bags nope i'm not gonna do that that's just heavy so basically it was like three mini pours and a half. Yep. I like it. Not too bad. I just dragged the broom across it. Not too bad. Not too bad. We'll see. I uh, just realized I'm going to have to dig around it to get that form off. Unless I leave it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll do that tomorrow. But for today, as long as the neighbor's cats stay out of it, I think it'll be fine. Twenty-four hours later, not bad, not bad. Even got the textured finish on it from the broom. I like it, I like it. Now to do one more. Yep, and then eventually all the way across. But gotta get this lift up. All right, everybody. Must have been three days. I think so. Three days later. So just took the form off, or whatever you want to call it. It looks pretty good. I like it, I like it. Come out a little thicker than I expected. It was good and solid. Now to fill in the trenches and do another one. Over there. Yep. And it's level. How about that? This one's not going to be fun because there's multiple levels of bullshit done beforehand but that one's only gonna take five bags versus the seven on the other one